everyone welcome back to my channel i hope you're all well and doing good today if you can't really tell by the title of the video i'm going to be doing another autumn winter coat haul i did one of these like three weeks ago um and it went really and it went down really well with you guys and i said if you wanted me to do a part two then i would so that is what i'm doing today is i still have a lot of coats that i haven't shown you guys before anyone judges me too hard about the amount of coats i have I have recently been sent a lot of them and brands like releasing their winter lines and with my fashion Instagram I do get sent quite a lot of bits and bobs so I thought I would show you guys these most of them in fact all of them are new in so you can still get these um, and I will of course leave all of the links down below in case you guys want any um, or want to pick up any so yeah without further ado I'm gonna get straight on in I've picked my top five again these are five coats that I have all been sent over the past like two three weeks um so yeah without further ado we're gonna get straight on in if you haven't already please do make sure that you subscribe and like i always say at the start of every video if you want to see more of how i style these please do head over on to my instagram which i'll leave here for you guys to check out where i post daily fashion inspiration um and yeah let's get cracking also before we get in i'm not feeling 100 percent today so if i keep going like really red it's because i keep getting hot flushes not entirely sure why um so i thought i'll clear that up in case all of a sudden i go really red and you're like are you okay i'm fine um i just feel a bit under the weather and i can't have a window open in here when i'm filming because i live on a main road so you will literally hear like ambulances cars a lot of background noise basically um so yeah i thought i would clear that up in case I look very red at some points. Gonna get straight on in. So the first three coats I'm gonna show you are new in from Shein. That sounds really weird. Um, you all know that I have worked with Shein in the past or over the past couple of months. Um, and I recently picked these up uh, and they were actually in my recent Shein haul. Uh, however, I thought I'd pop them in here as well because I have been getting a lot of wear out of all of them. So I do actually have a discount code for Shein. I believe it's SAU55. I'll double check and leave it on the screen somewhere. Um, but that will get you an additional 15% off your entire order and that includes the Black Friday and Cyber Monday sale which is brilliant um, because I know that Shein tend to have really good um, Black Friday sales anyway um, and you can get an additional 15% off with that code. So yeah, if any of these take your fancy then definitely check them out um, and use that code. So the first one is this really lovely Houndstooth Longline Coat. Now this might just be one of my favourite coats of the year i have a thing for houndstooth this year and i'm not entirely sure why i just think it's such a cool print very classic very easy to style obviously because it's like black and white um so yeah the first one i picked up was this houndstooth longline coat it comes to just above the knee i want to say it's also got this like raw hem at the bottom i have no idea if you can see that um and it's also got the raw hem on the sleeves now when i first picked this out i didn't realize it had a raw hem and then it arrived and i was like oh i don't know how i feel about that um but actually i don't really mind it i think it looks okay uh, and if i was really like didn't like it i could always roll the sleeves up um or like just slightly alter it to like not have the raw hem and the raw hem on show but I don't really mind it to be honest um, and it's also just got a really lovely collar I just thought this was a really smart jacket and very easy to style and pair with like a black dress or an all black outfit um, and it can definitely be one of those jackets thing that can be like dressed up or dressed down I picked this up in a size extra small um, and it's still like big enough for me to put a jumper on underneath so I would say it's true to size like you get your normal size um, and you should be fine one thing I would say is that it's not like really really thick it's still quite thin so I would say that you like need to layer up underneath it apart from that it's a really lovely jacket and I just thought it was quite smart I don't really have anything like this I have like one long line jacket from uh, New Look which I bought when I was literally like 15 and it still fits me now and I still wear it every year it's one of my favorite coats um, but yeah, I thought I'd pick up another one, just that I've got a couple that I can alternate between because that's my only, like, smart coat. If I have, like, a smart event, I would wear that coat, but now I've got this one as well. So yeah, that is coat number one. Like I say, I can't actually remember the prices of any of these, so I'll either leave them on the screen or I'll just leave them with the links down below and the prices. Um, but they're all really affordable. None of them are, like, massively expensive. Um, I would never show you guys anything that is too expensive because that's just not really me I'm a student and I know that a lot of my viewers are students and they can't afford that so yeah that is coat number one very excited to style this then coat number two again really really love this one it's from Shein and it's just a plain black denim jacket um, and it's just got like a distressed edge and it's got um oh my god what's it called rips 
uh, in the jacket as well why did that take me so long um but yeah just a really plain black wash denim jacket now again i don't own anything like this um i own a couple of denim jackets i've got like two blue denim and one um like a really lovely yellow colour like pastel yellow which I always wear in spring uh, however I didn't have a black one and I thought this would be really good for autumn winter obviously denim jackets aren't really the one for winter because they're not like really really thick uh, however I thought this would be really good for like styling um, when we're allowed out again to go out for drinks and whatever but I really like this and I thought it was just quite like a staple piece which again could be really easily styled um, and again with it being black it's literally going to go with anything I think that was what I was thinking when I was picking up these is that I wanted pieces that were going to go with a lot of outfits and that I could get a lot of wear out of um, which is exactly why I picked this one up because it's just going to be very easy to style it's plain black um, so it's going to go with anything but yeah that is coat number two coat number three i want to say this one's my favorite but i've literally said that about the past two coats but i love this one um now i have been after a shacket for the longest time a shacket is like the this year's big coat trend it's a shirt and a jacket combined together obviously shacket um and when i saw this one i was like okay i need it so this is just a new is it nude like a beige a beige and a cream checkered shacket i am in love it is one of my favourite jackets that I own. The one thing that I would say lets it down, again, is it's not overly thick. So when it hits winter, um, I don't know how appropriate this will be, but it looks good. Uh, so yeah, it's just this checkered jacket in the most beautiful beige and cream colour. It's also got like a um, shimmer running through it, which I thought was a really nice touch. Uh, and yeah, I was so excited when this arrived and I had like the outfit already planned in my head of how I was going to style this and I've seen quite a few people wear these this year and I was like oh I can't really justify buying another jacket I don't need anymore so obviously when she got in touch with me um, and asked if I wanted to work together again I was like right let's use this as an opportunity to pick up bits that I've wanted for a long time and I know I'm going to get a lot of wear out of um, and this was one of them so yeah it's not really thick however it is big enough for you to layer up underneath I think that again is really important is making sure that you know they're versatile enough to be worn in autumn and winter uh, which this is because you can like I say layer up um, but I picked this up in an extra small again so I just got like my normal size as I normally would um, and it fits really nicely it's a little bit like oversized but I wouldn't say it's too oversized this I would say just comes past my bum like lengthwise uh, which is a really nice length and it, and it also has like um buttons on the front so if I wanted to I could do it up not that I necessarily would but yeah I'm really excited to wear this I want to wear it as like leather leggings and my high profile Chelsea boots because my high profile Chelsea boots are actually in like the um beige sort of colour so I thought that would be really cool but yeah this is jacket number three so those are all of the coats from Shein like I say if any of those take your fancy or anything else from Shein does take your fancy please remember to, remember to use my code which again I will leave on the screen now for you guys um, like I say it will get you an extra 15% off including the Black Friday and Cyber Monday sale so you will be saving yourself a lot of money moving on to the fourth coat this is from a brand called I can never say this I want to say it's called Femlux uh, but I could be completely wrong, <laughs> so I'll leave it linked below in case. This one is another shacket. Uh, I've gone from having like none to having two, which I'm not mad about. But this one isn't going to be to everyone's taste. And I'll admit, when I first saw it, I was like, oh, don't know if I like it, don't know if I can pull it off. One of my friends who I know from Instagram, Sophie, when we went out to shoot a few months ago, she had a lilac version of this, and I was like, oh, I really like that. Um, and then I found it in pink, so I picked it up. Um, but yeah. It's just this pink jacket, much like the other one, just in like a pink checkered pattern. This one is slightly thicker and it has got like a fleecy inside, which I really, really love because it's going to keep me a little bit warmer. Um, but yeah, this is from Femlux and it's just a really nice checkered print basically. I have rolled the sleeves up on this one so I think it was slightly too long. One thing I would say about this one is it's much more oversized than the other one. Um, so I picked this up in a small which was actually their smallest size. They didn't do an extra small um, and I feel like I could have done with it in an extra small because this is a little bit too big. Um, it's not like really big that I'm not going to wear it. Like of course I wear it but I would have preferred a small size. Um, also this one actually has side pockets which the other shacket didn't. Um, the other shacket only had like pockets like pockets on the this area I don't know what you'd call it um so yeah this one also has side pockets as well which I really love because I hate it when jackets don't have pockets because I'm always putting my hands in my pockets um but yeah this one does which is really great and I think I want to say this was like 20 pounds but I'll leave it linked below in case anyone wants to check it out and then the final coat which I've got for you guys this coat 
I am obsessed with this coat. I have literally worn it every day since I got it, mainly because it is the snuggliest thing that I own. Um, now, I have been after a puffer jacket for the longest time, but... I just couldn't find one I liked, couldn't find one that was like reasonably priced and wasn't like really extortionate um, and I also wasn't sure how they, how they were going to look on me because like I said I've got quite a small frame and I wasn't sure if a puffer jacket was just going to swamp me basically. However, I have found the perfect puffer, pucker, the perfect puffer jacket, this white puffer jacket from In The Style. Um, this is going to be really hard to show you guys so you're just going to have to watch the try on clip. Um, but yeah. It's just this really gorgeous white puffer jacket, like I say, from In The Style, and it's got this really thick collar as well. I also picked it up in a smaller size, so normally in coats I would buy a size 6 um, or 8, depending on like the fit of it. However, I picked this up in a size 4 because, it, again, it said oversized in the title, and I was like, I don't want it to be too big. Um, but yeah, so I picked this up in a size 4, and it fits perfectly. Like, there's still enough room to get a big, chunky jumper underneath, which is, like, one of the main things I look for in a coat, if you can't already tell. I've said it, like, five times in this video. Um, but, yeah, really, really nice and warm as well. I think this is the Billy... Is it Billy Fairs? I think it's from the Billy Fairs range. However, I could be completely wrong, so don't quote me on that. Again, I'll leave it linked below. Um, but this, again, is a super affordable coat, and it's so warm. I've definitely already got my wear out of it. Um, and I will continue to wear it throughout winter. This coat number five, which I really love. You can't really tell. I'll probably be getting a lot of wear out of it this winter. That concludes my autumn winter coat haul part two. I hope you guys did enjoy it. Like I say, I still have so many coats that I could show you guys. However, some of them aren't necessarily in season anymore. Um, but these ones are all like fresh. Is that the right word? They're new in. They're like recent stock. So you can still get hold of them if you were interested. Um, I will leave all of the links down below if you guys do want to check it out um, with all the prices and again I'll leave my discount codes down below um, so do make sure that you make use of those and yeah hope you have enjoyed the video if you have please do remember to give it a big thumbs up and make sure you subscribe and all of that fun stuff so head on over to my Instagram which I'll leave here if you want to see how I style these coats and jackets better or get a better idea of how I would style them um, as I post daily over there but yeah hope you have enjoyed the video please do subscribe and I will see you all in my next video.